Many people normally think of tattoos, you know, as demonic, vitu vya kishetani, shetani. Is there anywhere, according to your knowledge, jamba unafahamu kwamba tattoos zikona any relation na mambo ya kishetani? Inakuwajwa tuwa ngonguvu, mina ito presenter Ali, your entertainment PA, the A is always for amazing. Siku zote na TBD kwa kikisha kwa manakuletea stories, tofa uti. And of course, today niko hapa GTA Inc. Tatuza, iko hapa to around CBD. Mwenze tu tatujuza iko wapi later on, lakini nimekuja kupige story with one tattooist. Eh? Mwenye tuwa tattooist, right? Yeah, with one tattooist, mba ya nafanya tattooza, nachora, tattoos. Uh, of course, tuweze kujua ukweli kusu tattoos, lakini kabla ya hapo, wacha. Uh, uh, yo, uh, fiti, fiti. Uh, naitua GT, that's my nickname. Mm -hmm. uh, GT stands for Gachao the Artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, utanipata Commonwealth Building, third floor, Moy Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, we operate Monday to Sunday, 24-7. Yeah, from removals, uh, piercings, any kind of uh, design you want. Tunafanya custom, tunafanya coverable scars. Mm -hmm. Kama, you know, many mothers have uh, scar tissues mm -hmm. for the C-section. Yeah, we, we cover you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we are very friendly, pocket friendly prices also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Kabla tuzungumze kusu biashara yake. Of course, main one of the main reasons ambayo mfanya ni mtafute uh, is because there are many stories that go behind tattoos, and many fans really asked me kumba Ali mbona haujaeka tattoo kwenye mwili wako lakini nikaamua kumba kabla ya kupata hilo jibu ni kujia ni zungumze na mtu mbaye ana jua kwa undani issues za tattoos. Nataka nifahamu tattoos originally zimetokea wapi ama zimeanzia wapi? Okay, they started in New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand there's a tribe called Moko where they started with the tribal the Maori. Yeah, though, so most of the tattoos started from traditional Maori which uh, the tribe which is Moko in New Zealand. So sisi took a uh, change progressively. Uh, we customized it even Progress it to more realism, like portraits and all that. Mm -hmm. So the Moko tribes in New Zealand, mostly their own uh, semi old school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, like this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a Maori. Okay. It's more traditional from the original tribe. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So from there, don't no, assume the new style like this one. Mm -hmm. This one is a realism. Mm -hmm. It's more realistic, like a real feather. This is a angel's wing. Okay. Yeah, it has a meaning to me. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So even though tattoo with time, it, it may progress. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's what I can say, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, many people normally think of tattoos, you know, as demonic, vitu vya kishetani, shetani. Is there anywhere, according to your knowledge, jamba unafahamu kwamba tattoos zikona any relation na mambo ya kishetani? Uh, no, tattoos are in a mambo na relation to shetani or anything because as for me, nimesema, I do, as some mothers come for six session mm -hmm. to cover Sometimes the vitu zingine is naibu. Wezi itaka kuwa na mark for the rest of your life. So we come and change it and make it and beautify it. Watu ingine seme kama una mtoto wako. Seme you are first newborn. Maybe unge ataka the feet to have a kind of resemblance in your life. You can just uh, patch the feet. Tuweke mali hapa ma kwa kifua, the date. Vitu kama hizo. So mostly uh, tattoos ni vitu permanent. Na zina value kwa mwili wako. Uh, mambo na religion, I don't think inaguza mambo na religion. Yeah, mostly ni uh, your own perspective, how you relate to that tattoo. Uh, mostly, I don't think uh, you can say it's dark or gothic or anything. Yeah, that's, that's my own perspective. Yes. Uh. Kuna tattoos zingine, ambazo in real sense, ukiangalia, the way zinaka. Of course, kama he, it's a wing, he, this is something cultural and everything. But kuna zingine, uh, let, me, let me just try and see, actually, come on, uh, because I had downloaded a few pictures for my reference. So you come about on Tazipata, but then I, 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 I saw tattoo kama he. What, what, what would you say about something like this? I can say this is more European. European in the fact that... Um, Europeans, okay, some, some people uh, feel like um, some gothic images, mm -hmm. they want to be unique in their own way. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I'm saying, from New Zealand, New Zealand and Africans, I'm a New Zealand and Europeans, New Zealand, most of them, they don't call themselves Caucasians. Mm -hmm. When I feel they're more black mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. being uh, European, because European, there's a lot of diversity, there's a lot of uh, uh, question marks to what they want. 
because most of the Ndova have culture, first of all. Mm, yeah. So if you follow uh, with the New Zealand style mm -hmm. and the Japanese mm -hmm. and the Latin mm -hmm. and Africans, yeah. that's why we follow as tattoo artists. We don't follow the European style. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna. Kwa hiyo tattoo kama hii it has nothing to do with ushetani. Kama hii unasema uh can say okay it's gothic it has um re, uh, resemblance to religion and all that which is dark what I can see yeah. Yes. No, unasema us as tattoo artists in Africa in uh, Latin America and all that we don't follow the European way yeah. of belief and religion. Yeah. 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 So, kwa kwa fupi, wewe unaweza ukachora tattoo kama hii? Me for me I can't. I don't think I can do. I can I don't think I can do. This is a baphomet. Eh. Sisi si fanya baphomet tattoo on someone. Mm -hmm. I've never okay, I've got some Caucasian coming to me for uh, for some jobs, eh? Mm -hmm. But none of them ever just came to me and said I want a baphomet tattoo. Mm -hmm. It's something so um nikitina conflict even with your soul. Yes. You cannot have uh, something of, like a baphomet on your skin. As, even your soul can't. I mean, yeah, just feeling okay doing that. So the most uh, I've done, some kitu naka weird. Okay, me, I do uh, Bible verses. Nepata kwa wingi. Nepata travelers from um, Latin America coming to Kenya to expand their tourism. Wengi they just put hakuna matata mm -hmm. saying uh, how okay unaweza re relate na place metoka mm -hmm. anaweza sema metoka South Africa lipata itat which is most mostly cultural yeah. amekuja Kenya oh. yeah amepata hakuna matata mm -hmm. ama amechora some zebras with some meaning mostly that's what we work with yeah wewe we unaweza kukubali kuchora mtu tatu kama hiyo uh, like the one when you mention Baphomet, I don't think I have the energy to do that. Me, me, come, me, me, come, me as an artist. Um, I can say me as an artist. Pia ni kona kipawa neza sema what I can do and what I can't do. Kama mi na feel me as advising you. Uh, sema you want a tattoo on your face. Mi nta kuliza first thing. What's your age? Where where you work? Itu kama hizo. I have to know your background before I know what I'm doing. So if I feel like uh, from my own judgment, mm -hmm. it will work for you in your future, Nisawa. But if I feel kuna conflict, you may talk to Shule Jana and you want to tattoo your face, I'll, can, I'll just politely say no. It's Taweza, yeah. and I'll say because of some reasons, na kwambia Okay. Yeah. What, what, what is the, uh, the normal rate of, you know, just a simple, very small and simple tattoo? And what would be the highest rate of tattoo that you'd say exists like kusema this indo pesa mob sana watu hata kama si wewe watu wana charge for a tattoo and what type of tattoo would that be ambayo ni very expensive so i can say for simple tattoos uh we can do from uh, 3000 mm -hmm. yes um that is upon bookings can be your design or my design or both combined mm -hmm. uh yeah when we go to sleeves we to come up from here to here Mostly they go from 30k, uh, which is like uh, we have four sessions. Eh? Kuna kama hii ni outer, then kuna ina kumalizia. We maliza the first half. Kuna outer na kuna ina. Those are four. But you can always uh, compress the time. Kama we kuna nguvu ya kumaliza that thing. Oh, she done moya na chora. Yeah, yeah, moya na chora. Kama neza go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah. So you neza range from 30k. Uh, come on, full back, full back session can grow for 100k. What's, what's full back? Full back, the, the back. Full back. Full back. You can do a half, then we can receive the stencil. The stencil is like a, a print, a carbon copy, mm -hmm. which we place on the skin mm -hmm. to give us a mapping of what you are doing. Yes. So after that, we can put the second session to check the old stencil, mm -hmm. apply it mm -hmm. to Malize. The full back, which can be done in two sessions, yeah. Wow. You need a cost like a hundred k. That is mostly in Africa. We have uh, good prices. In Europe, they can go to like um, five thousand dollars. Wow. A full back, mm -hmm. a sleeve can go to like a half sleeve can go from seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can say in Africa we have uh, good prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, all are welcome. We can always have slightly negotiations and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I tozi, tozi kata pesa. I tozi kata pesa. Amazing. Yeah. One thing I would really also be interested to know is, uh, uh, what what would you say uh, has been 
uh, an amazing or just an experience that you ulichora mtu and then hujawahi kusahau mpaka leo uh, what i can say uh, hmm. I did, I, I did a tattoo which is, um, was a scar actually on the navel because mm -hmm. I found this client had a piercing, a capios marambili. So the first time, ili piosiwa ikatoka because that was an appropriational guy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the second time, I put another guy, but it went sideways. Yeah. So as you see, the belly ring is supposed to be like imepango, imechora vizuri, like alignment 90 degrees mm -hmm. on the belly. So what she did, uh, Kanyambia, just come, me me choka na belly piercing, and I want you to cover my belly button. It was the hardest, I swear, I've never had so much difficulty in my lifetime, because um, the belly button, you know, it, in a, yeah, in a, it has a depression, yeah? So you have to go in and stretch the skin from that belly button, which is like a hollow area. And it's also a very sensitive area. It's sensitive, and, but the, the girl was a Taliban. I swear, as in a little party, uh, cooperation, she was just, I have to cover this up. Because mm -hmm. she said, what you work they make fun of her sometimes. Okay, like the mother, she's very friendly yeah. with the kids. But sometimes they come too strong with the jokes. Mm -hmm. So I can feel, yo, this is the guy to do it, and it, it came out perfect. Actually, it was a lily. Mm -hmm. A lily like nice. symbolizes uh, feminine energy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it looks nice. Okay. Yeah. What, what, would, what would you also say has been the weirdest tattoo that you've ever drawn? You're like, wow, this was crazy. The weird tattoo I've done um, is on, um, on the navel, just below the belly button. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a lady who had um, did the Brazilian waxing, yeah? So after you do Brazilian waxing, mostly the area, it has, um, when it heals, kuna to vidonda, because it may repair with it, yes. So the area looks spotty, and uh, she wanted to cover the whole area, mm -hmm. yeah. So I can say it's one of those areas where it can be challenging to some new to, new tattoo artists who don't know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. But first for me, <laughs> as for me, I have experience. I don't think is a is a hard time for me. Yeah, yeah. M many people normally see that uh, m some ladies they yeah. put tattoos in very you know private areas yeah, and like the one yeah, the, 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 like the one I just asked you, and they normally say that, hey, what a tattoo, wana pata ra 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 to party. So we work for any case. It's like asking a gynecologist. When I ask her, "Are you Leo?" You may find like fifty clients. So it's a, like a repetition of, it's a repetition of a job. You're just accustomed to. It's just so normal. It's like breathing. It's not you're struggling to breathe. Yeah, you, you can't struggle to breathe. It's just a normal day. Yeah, and we respect clients the same way. Um, you can say a professional like being a lawyer, you can respect your clients not to mix business with. Yeah, okay, the moment yeah. you do that, you know, you just destroy your reputation and yes, all that. Yes. Yeah. And your job too. And your job too, wow. yeah. Amazing. So uh, basically, uh, we have got to learn uh, different things about tattoos that I really wanted to know. And uh, I will think about it and know if it's something that I can do. But would you advise... Uh, someone who is uh, who has a kid to, to to have a tattoo on the kid on the kid how old is the kid You're like under 18 no we don't do under 18 underage we don't do uh, the first thing we check is as I said profile we, pro we do a profiling uh, we know where you're placing if it's a tricky area we kind of profile you we things like age ID we get to know that then we can advise you like uh, most of the uh, profession I've done mostly lawyers uh, they don't do past their sleeves, yeah? yeah. Wana fanya ndani. So mostly I advise, like, I just know what you're doing first. Then I know in future, Ville, this tattoo, we can progress with the sleeve, aman which pattern you want. Pole pole too. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. I've seen you, you've also done a few ce uh, celebrities, tattoos on a few celebrities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Creative Phil is, uh, is my boy. I've done him and was very comfortable. And Alenia Mini, and I did my best up to today. That's the only thing he flosses ar around. Yeah, yeah. the sleeve, yeah. Just, just like mine, but it's different yeah. because his has a meaning to his work. As I said, I profile you, I know what you're doing. Yeah. So his is uh, the eye of makeup. Mm -hmm. It's like a makeup kit with uh, the makeup look, look like mostly humanoid, like 
it's like a face, mm -hmm. but it's a makeup kit with brushes, yeah? So in a, in a resemble elect on a fanya, come a makeup artist. So up to the day, I don't think at a fanya removal, he's very happy with this tattoo. Yeah, so with, with a profession, I can customize what you want. Yeah, and um, as a happy client, I love referrals. And that's what I do. I make clients happy. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about. Uh, tell us a little bit about the removal because we may a kid. Uh, removal mostly it happens uh, when somebody regrets what Alifanya. Maybe ni mpenzi. Ah uh, yeah. Maybe ni. Uliandika jina la mpenzi. Jina la mpenzi. or something. You know, kikakuramba is one of the things we hear nowadays in this uh, tao. Yes. Yeah, so it can happen evil, so you just come to me, talk to me nicely, to Tajoa Bay, to Pange, how many sessions we are going to do. It depends how, how like the colors involved. Yeah, mostly of the machines we use, they, we do with black. Yeah, we, uh, in Atuaga, black colors. Colored, colored uh, is a tricky situation. Colors are zitokagi. Come on, red and green, that's another story. Maybe you cover it up with something else. But with come to black tattoos like this mine, is the talker. Yeah. Mostly in three sessions, which is permanent. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about uh, like skin yako, it akwana scars or anything. You can do professionally, and in three sessions you're good. Yeah. yeah. What is more painful? Putting on a tattoo or removing a tattoo? Uh, removing a tattoo is painful. Wow. Removing a tattoo, because laser surgery is no joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's no joke, yeah. What could go wrong when you're removing a tattoo? Uh, what could go wrong? Maybe if you don't take care of your tattoo, because actually after um, I do a removal or I do a tattoo, I give you an aftercare. Mm -hmm. I, I give you an instruction on your email mm -hmm. or your WhatsApp, uh, even uh, to the chemist, what you should buy, what you should do. You should do. Mm -hmm. So mostly in the part, I'm too cocky, ignorant. I'm too lazy. It happens. I'm a cosa kufata. What ni mo kumambia? So in a backfire, you na pata li pata infection, but it's it's not through you. Ni vilana do. What you come exposure to like sunlight. That's one of the things people don't hear. I'm going to the swimming pool with your fresh tattoo. You know, come a iso. I'm being unhygienic. So you have a fresh tattoo. I'm you have a removal, and everybody's trying to touch the area. I'm aware when you see himself. You know, just like it's like an open wound. You should be very hygienic. Kabla you do anything to touch it, kuyosha, make sure your hands are clean. You come as well. So being hygienic is quite quite important here. Yeah. yeah. Kama ulikuwa na maswali yoyote kuhusu tattoos ni imani kwamba kadhaa yamejibiwa ambayo mimi nilikuwa nayo. And of course uh, unaweza ka reach out to GT. Uh, ni GT A ama GT? GT A. So wananijua kama GT short form Gachao the artist. So utanipa at Commonwealth Building which is in Moy Avenue, third floor. Yeah, my number also I can uh, tell you my number which is uh, 0700. 374-191 My IG is GTA underscore tattoos underscore underscore ink tattoos and uh, you can Okay, you can also find me on Facebook at uh, GTA Ink Tattoos also. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Sana ni mkwani kipiga story na GT. Uh, behind the camera ni mwanangu nguva ni itua Frank, the director. Mina itua presenter Ali. Your entertainment PA, the A is always for amazing. If you feel like you want to have a tattoo and uh, usha umuwa kwa mba unataka kufanya tattoo ama kuchoro tattoo. Reach out to this guy na umambia kwa mba umetumwa na presenter Ali, the entertainment PA. The A is always for amazing. Siku zote ukitaka kufanikia uspende kusifiwa. I will see you guys in the next video.